Hey guys, Apple Lee here, back again with another video. I know it's been a while since the last one, but we are here with the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This has been my daily device for the past year now, so I thought it would be a good time to head over and see how well the phone has held up over the past year. And with the S8 being announced yesterday, I thought we could also compare some of the new features to the S7 Edge. So we'll start by taking a look around the phone. So starting with the sides, you can see it has taken a few drops to the corners and dented them, but the sides, top and bottom, are all just fine on the metal. The back glass is protected by a slick wrap skin, and the front of the phone does have a small crack in the bottom right, uh, with a crack running along the screen. But as you can see, with the screen off, it's not noticeable, and with the screen on as well, so that's pretty good. The fingerprint scanner does have a few hairline scratches, but performance is just fine, so it works first time pretty much always. So durability I give a B plus. Then turning to the screen, it's obviously got a 1440p Super AMOLED screen, so that held, uh, holds up with today's phones, even with the S8, which just has a few more pixels added on for the uh, longer screen. So screen I'd give an A plus there, great for watching movies, uh, YouTube, texting, it gives you loads of space to do all that, so screen is top notch. Turning to battery life, it has taken a bit of a hit since Android 7.0, so it was originally getting about 6 hours on Android 6.0, since the update has taken a bit of a toll, so we're now getting about 4.5 to 5 hours of screen on time, and you can see the graph there, we've been going for about 11.5 hours with a charge in the middle of the day, so that is the nice thing, it's got fast charging, it's got wireless charging, so you can just top it up quickly. So even the S8 does have a small battery, so the 5.8 inch phone has only 3000 milliamp hours, whereas the S7 Edge with a 5.5 inch screen has 3500 milliamp hours. So they're obviously hoping the new processor should be much more power efficient. We'll have to wait and see about that. Turning to performance, S7 Edge has held up just fine. I'm running a uh, Nova launch on top of Android, so may take a bit more toll there. Games, uh, apps all load fine, performance is just fine for a phone of a year old. Um, obviously the S8 should be a bit faster, but if you're looking to upgrade, really there's no need. If you're coming from S6, then go for the S8, um, but if you're already on the S7, I'd say just stay on that and wait. In terms of the camera, it is pretty much the same. So it's a 12 megapixel camera with OIS 4K capability. Um, performance is still just great. If you're looking to upgrade just for the camera, obviously don't. It's pretty much the same as the S8, so no worries there. Front-facing camera does have a bit of an upgrade on the S8, but really not worried about that. So overall, the S7 Edge has held up very well. The Edge screen obviously uh, holds apps there, so that's nice. It's still got that on the S8. Um, so if you've got the S7, I say stick with it, wait for the S9. If you're on the S6, I'd say pretty much worth the upgrade. You get the bigger screen, you get rid of the home button on the front, but you keep the fingerprint scanner on the back. You get all the new features, the latest software updates, um, and yeah, so basically stick with the S7, any other phone, move up to the S8, um, otherwise wait for the S9. If you guys enjoyed this video, do click the subscribe button down below, I've got a future giveaway coming up soon. And if you enjoyed this video, do please give it a like as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.